Prince Harry consulted his grandmother, the Queen, about his plans before he released a powerful statement condemning the press, according to royal claims. Sarah Latham, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's communications secretary, said the Duke of Sussex informed the 93-year-old Queen before he published his extraordinary letter. Ms. Latham reportedly hit back after claims Prince Harry ignored advice from his senior aides and didn't tell his grandmother, father Prince Charles and brother Prince William his plans before he released the bombshell statement. But Ms. Latham and the couple's private secretary Samantha Cohen are not believed to have had involvement in Harry's statement against the British press, who he claimed had waged a ruthless campaign against his wife. Sources claimed royal aides were concerned about the timing of the Duke of Sussex's legal claim, where he said his wife Meghan Markle has become one of the latest victims of a British tabloid press. The Times also speculated that Prince Harry, 35 had only told his father Prince Charles and Prince William after the statement was published. The newspaper said aides kept their distance, describing the statement as private, after it was published on a separate website from the Duke and Duchess official Buckingham Palace website while the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were still on a royal tour of Africa with their son Archie Harrison. This week Meghan, 38, and Prince Harry launched legal action against the Mail on Sunday over a claim it unlawfully published excerpts of a private letter she wrote to her father. In a long and personal statement published online, Prince Harry said he feared his wife has fallen victim to the same powerful force his mother Princess Diana did before her death, saying he could no longer be a silent witness to her private suffering. His statement read, Unfortunately, my wife has become one of the latest victims of a British tabloid press that wages campaigns against individuals with no thought to the consequences, a ruthless campaign that has escalated over the past year, throughout her pregnancy and while raising our newborn son. There is a human cost to this relentless propaganda, specifically when it is knowingly false and malicious, and though we have continued to put on a brave face, as so many of you can relate to, I cannot begin to describe how painful it has been. Because in today's digital age, press fabrications are repurposed as truth across the globe. One day's coverage is no longer tomorrow's chip paper. Royal sources branded the move as unfortunate, with on royal source telling the son, this is not the done thing on a royal tour when the principals are representing the queen and country. I can't imagine the queen will be very impressed. Law firm Shillings, acting for the Duchess, has filed a high court claim against the paper and its parent company over the alleged misuse of private information, infringement of copyright and breach of the Data Protection Act 2018. The proceedings are being funded privately by Meghan and Prince Harry and any proceeds will be donated to an anti-bullying charity. Shillings, the law firm representing Meghan, described the publication of her letter as part of a campaign by this media group to publish false and deliberately derogatory stories about her, as well as her husband. It said, We have issued proceedings to redress this breach of privacy, infringement of copyright and the aforementioned media agenda. A Mail on Sunday spokesman said the paper stood by the story it published and would defend the case vigorously. A spokesman said, The Mail on Sunday stands by the story it published and will be defending this case vigorously. Specifically, we categorically deny that the Duchess's letter was edited in any way that changed its meaning. Express.co.uk has contacted the Duke and Duchess office for comment.